Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum viewers. Welcome to my channel. And this video is representing the third part of your first order nonlinear differential equations dealing with such equations that are solvable for x. What exactly it means solvable for x, solvable for y? Such equations in which uh, that you can transform and you can rewrite keeping x as a subject. Such equations are solvable for x. And such equations that you can rewrite or transform keeping y the subject, those are solvable for y and so forth. Okay? So here, if I just pick up an, equa an example, I say that it is y p squared minus 2xp plus y equals to 0, correct? Right? So you can see here in this entire equation x is coming just once. So you can rewrite this equation keeping x as a subject, right? So I can, I can write it like this, okay? And also here y is coming common. I can write it this way okay so here this equation can be transformed keeping x as a subject so now this equation is solvable for x so apparently it looks that uh, here this equation is uh, having uh, is representing x as a subject so x is a dependent variable and y is an independent variable basically it's not behind the curtain it is not like that but in order to solve such kind of equations you just try to differentiate this equation with respect to y okay so that's what we are going to do now so once when i divide this p with both these terms it gives me an appearance like this i, I call this first equation equation number one and this is my second equation that i'm going to differentiate with respect to my y, okay? With respect to my y, all right? And we know, uh, if you have watched my previous two videos of, uh, of this series, I I have told over there that my p is actually representing the first like the first derivative of my f of x or what you say y okay this is what your p is okay so if you just take the reciprocal of this equation and I can write that dx over dy is 1 upon p so at the place of dx over dy I just write 1 upon p here okay it is this now let's let us apply the derivative of product of two functions so you just keep the second function constant write the derivative of your first function let's keep the first function constant write the derivative of your second function okay. i can write this one upon psp power negative one that's easier so This thing is 1, so that's what thing that is so left is this. And then uh, y times derivative of p is 1, right? And derivative of p power minus 1 can be written like this. We are going to use the formula of xn here. And xn minus 1, that's what we just follow. So it is... Now we can shift these two terms on the left side. It's p power minus 2, so I can write 1 upon p squared. Okay. I'm taking the LCM, this thing is giving me 1 by p minus p equals to... I can take the LCM here as well. P square over here. Once when I take the LCM, it becomes one minus p square upon p, and this is y times. If I take negative sign common here, 
the can be written as 1 minus p square upon p square. Now, 1p and 1p gets cancelled. One p is left that I can write over here. One thing that uh, I just forgot to I, I did a small mistake here I'm extremely sorry for that it was d p by dy that I wrote one by mistake so it is this dp by dy and over here I forgot to write the chain rule so here dp by dy is taken out as constant as common everywhere it is going to be written like that okay now we are going to shift this term over here in both these terms 1 minus p square is coming common we just take it out and what is left is going to be collected and it is going to form the second factor all right so you are having now two factors one is this another one is this both you are going to equate to zero so which function is going to provide you the general function that's the case because uh, what exactly the difference between the general and the singular solution singular solution actually provides you just one th one function value that is going to satisfy your first equation okay and the general solution provides you a family of solution or a set of solutions that is going to satisfy your first equation okay so this this factor is going to provide you only one answer of y or unique answer of y okay and this one is going to provide you a general solution for how exactly, what exactly I'm talking about, I'm going to perform it now. Okay, so actually this, I call this factor as my equation number one, uh, equation number three. And this factor, I call it equation number four. Okay, on solving equation number three, you see over here, this p square is equals to 1, so I'm going to substitute p square value in my first equation. Okay, so I will substitute this. This was my first equation, and here my p square is 1, so it means that p is going to be plus minus one okay so if i put p square one and p value positive one then i'm going to have this unique answer okay and you know that what exactly your y is y is a function of x and then you substitute p square 1 and p value negative 1 and again you're going to have a unique answer that's what you call a singular solution that's what a reflection function is So this is you can see that this is these are the unique solution or the singular solution they're not representing family of solutions so how we are going to handle how we are going to explore the general solution or a family of solutions For that purpose we are going to pick up our fourth equation and what was it Okay, so this is your fourth equation, that's what we are going to pick up.
p plus y times dp over dy equals to zero. We are going to simplify through the method of separating variables. All right. So let's take try to take the reciprocal over here. simply swap the values so uh, it becomes 1 upon p dp equals to 1 upon y dy right that's it and then we're going to integrate both sides we're going to integrate both sides nicely okay it is going to provide me negative ln p ln of y plus some constant we can write constant as 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 ln of c okay so we just use here the property of the log let's see ln and ln gets cancelled so 1 upon p is equals to yc or or you can write that p is equals to 1 over yc right c is a constant over here so whatever the value you are uh, going to substitute at the place of the constant then you're going to every time you're going to have a new equation or new solution and that new solution is going to satisfy your first equation okay the differential equation so this is your p and i'm going to substitute this p value in my equation number one yp square minus 2xp plus 1 equals to 0. In the place of my p, I'm going to write okay. So it's going to give me what? It's going to give me 1 upon yc square minus 2xyc plus y equals to 0. I can take the LCM now. My LCM is yc squared. 1 minus 2xc plus y squared c squared equals to 0. This yc will go over there get cancelled. So y squared c squared minus 2xc plus 1 equals to 0. That's going to be the equation. And you can further uh, write it down in a way. y square equals to 2xc minus 1 upon c square. Okay. So once my, and then you take, you can take here square root of it. If you want to take square root, Okay, but this is your f of x involving constants. Every time you insert a new value of a constant, you're going to have a new function, and that function is definitely going to satisfy this uh, differential equation. So you are having now a family of solutions, all right? That's what you call GC or general solution. Okay, so that's all for today. I hope the concept is clear in your mind. Try to solve a bunch of questions, a couple of exercises related to the topic and this is strengthen your grip. And uh, and still, if you have queries, you can you can contact me. You can put comment in the, feed, uh, in, uh, in the comment box below. And also you can, uh, I recommend you to just uh, have a look on the first two videos of the related topic uh, just, to, just to clear the entire picture in your mind. All right, so just don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit on the like and share this video as much as you can. And just take a good care of yourself and study well, score good. And don't forget to remember me in your prayers. Take good care of yourself a lot. Please.